Well, I think if you um, look into what we have said ever since uh, the elections where uh, Tomislav Nikolic was elected as a president, we've sent a very clear message both on the level of the two presidents uh, and uh, uh, by High Representative Catherine Ashton, and we clearly said that we expect Serbia to continue uh, with the necessary reforms in the framework of its European integration, and this goes well beyond um, uh, the relationship uh, with Kosovo the, uh, and uh, the issues you sp uh, specified um, are very much covered by uh, our policy approach in terms of reconciliation, in terms of good neighbor re relations, uh, in terms of regional cooperation. And I want to be quite clear that our policy approach has not changed. We expect uh, the same uh, uh, things and um, uh, the same uh, criteria uh, apply. Serbia is a candidate status. Uh, Tomislav Nikolic has said uh, that he is in favor of continuing towards this path, so our expectations are very much uh, in line with that. And uh, I also mentioned that we are looking forward to the formation of the new government of Serbia. This is the government that will need to take forward these uh, reforms and will be important partner uh, uh, in our relationship.